you ready? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Mara, are you excited for school? No. <laughs> Mom. loves welcome back to the channel today's thursday morning and yesterday's vlog i kind of left you hanging a little bit on how olivia liked her first day so let me show you really quick what happened when i picked her up all right this is it i'm in the school line i'm about to pick up livy and i'm a little nervous um because to be honest with you i really 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 want her to be happy and like i've had a great day this could go either way like she could have had a wonderful day or it could be that she cries and hates school every second of every day so let's hope for good so I'm in the wrong line that's okay because they're, they're gonna bring her out to me I just saw the line and I was like this must be it no this is not it this is the wrong line so thank god they're nice and they realize that I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing she was like I'm sorry it's really confusing so yeah. Get a new friend? Yeah. What's your new friend's name? Um, I don't even know. Oh, did you have a good time? Yeah. You love school? Yeah. Are you excited? You get to go in the morning? Yeah. Yay! I'm happy, Dewey. I'm so excited. Yeah. You... The bad thing is I was really sweating so <laughs> hot. You, know you got really I... hot? You could t you could have took no, your jacket I... off. No, it wasn't my jacket because I done sports stuff. Oh. I played with basketball, too. You played with basketballs? And, like, and do everything. And oh, my and goodness. I bet you just had the best time. Like, I was, like, sweating really hard. Yeah, but sweating really hard is very good for you. Why? Because it makes you healthy to sweat. It's good for your body to sweat. Why? You want to call Mammal? Okay, let's call Mammal. See that man walking back into the food city with the umbrella? It's raining really hard here. Not a surprise. It's rained hard and here I went for to like. New school. Yep, you went to your new school. It's rained hard here for like two or three weeks now. And our local food city, if it's raining, they offer to follow you out with an umbrella if you don't have one to make sure that you and your kids stay dry. Like what grocery store? That's like a Chick-fil-A thing. <laughs> that's, that's not a grocery store thing. That's a Chick-fil-A thing. So we just got escorted to our van with an umbrella so we don't get wet. The next day. Buckle up, load up, buckle up. Holy crap, it's cold. I'm freezing. <laughs> Look at the creek, it's literally about to flood your school. It'll keep coming no up. School. Thank God, no, but it's two levels. So, I mean, it would take a lot to flood this up into the school, but it's still, it went from a creek to a little river. If it would just stop freaking raining. Do you know that it's gonna rain all the rest of this week and most of next week too? nothing but rain. Just rain, 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 rain. This should be the rainforest. My God. <laughs> Guys, love you. Shut the door. Three down, one to go. Yeah. Your turn. Yep, yep, Getting yep, dropped yep. off at school. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. I figured. All right, we're here at your school now. Let's see if we can figure out where to drop you off at. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah, Mama's still learning about where to take you and drop you off and where you go and all that fun stuff. Ooh, that heat's making it hot in here. First I was freezing, now I'm hot. Yeah. So I'm back at the house now and I feel like I've slightly been played because my child is in the van and she starts to cry. She's like, I just want you to come pick me up after I eat and I don't want to stay and play. And I was like, baby, it's the same thing that you did yesterday. Like you were so excited. Why are you scared now? And she was like, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to go. And going on with all this stuff. 
So, like, I'm really starting to second guess myself and think, oh my gosh, should I keep her out of school? Like, should I park and like walk her in? Maybe that's where the anxiety is coming in because this is like she's being dropped off, that kind of thing. So we finally get up to the front of the line. And the way that their preschool works is that they open the door to your car. They unbuckle your child, get them out, and you have to sign to say they have them. Same way to be draw to be picked up or from school. You know, they load them in, buckle them in, and you sign saying you pick them up. So I was like... <laughs> I thought, oh God. So I, I had myself prepared. I was like, I'm gonna explain to this lady, you know, this is just second day. Like she's, her, it's the same girl that put her in the car yesterday. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna explain to her, you know, she's upset, that kind of thing. She opens my van door and she goes, are you ready to have a good day? Olivia goes, boosh with her buckle. And she goes, yeah, I'm ready. And she jumps out and she was like, there's my friend and takes off. And I'm like, I think I've just, been played by a five-year-old. I think she just played me. Like, what the crap? You had me freaking out and you're just like, yeah, let's go. Great day. I don't understand. Six and a half hours later. Coming up here at 315. CWD. <laughs> So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So I'm like the worst blogger in the world because yesterday after I promised that I would have a video up telling you how Olivia's day went, I did not because I um, picked up five kids and when I got them in the van, it was absolute helter skelter. Got to the house, cooked spaghetti, some of the kids left. One of them spent the night. John came home from work. It was so crazy that I just didn't pick up the camera. Then this morning, I took the kids to school. John's off work, so we went to the grocery store and picked up a handful of things that I needed to do meal prep for tomorrow. Um, also picked up the stuff to bake a cake. I baked a cake when I got home because Mara's birthday is Sunday. And long story short, she wants to do a bake off against me. Like she thinks she's gonna win that. Um, we are both doing our own version of red velvet cake to see who can do better. And we all know who's gonna win this. Yes, I could probably let her win if I wanted to. I could. I could let the I could let her win because she's a baby. But I also want my kids to realize that you can't beat mama. Another thing, I took a nap today. It was a very short nap, but it was a nap nonetheless. I, <laughs> it's not over, before anybody starts going on about vitamins, it has nothing to do with any of the vitamins. Everything is in good shape. It's just a combination of the constant rainy weather. And it's also because some TMI things, but my body is retraining itself of when to go to the potty and it has decided, it made its own executive decision that I was not brought in on that meeting that about 2.30 to 3 o'clock in the morning is now officially the time of going to the potty. I did not get a say in this decision. This is what my body has decided and so therefore that's what we do. Home, making nachos, icing my cake, and probably watching movies tonight and hanging out and chilling out. So this is gonna be the end of this vlog. So I appreciate your all's patience with my lack of videos. Today, also, I was supposed to go to the gym. Did that happen? <laughs> no, I did not. So I'm going to go to the gym in the morning. I'm gonna have my mom go. I've not been released to go to the gym. And by that, I mean like, my doctor did say that I cannot go lift weights. So when I say that I'm going to the gym, I am just going to sit on the bike that has like the chair and just slow, steady cardio. I'm gonna do some steady state cardio. That I have been, that we are allowed to do. But I'm not allowed to lift weights or anything. I've got one more week, one more week before I can lift weights. Appreciate your all's patience with my vlogs. I know that they're really patchy right now. And it is no other reason than sheer, utter laziness. Laziness. That's all it is. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I love you guys and make sure you check out the social media links down below. You guys will find all of my social media accounts. I'm a little bit more active on those than I have been on YouTube lately. And also you will see the link if you've not already ordered some of the skinny syrups. The um, promo code ends pretty soon, so you might wanna get on that. So I love you guys and I'll see you later. Love you, bye, love you, bye.